All right, hello everyone and welcome back to Cutabo Space Program, where today we are having a look at the Colophemus system mod, which is being made by forum user Artyomka15. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is a kerbalized version of Polyphemus, which you may remember from the movie Avatar, as it was the big old gas giant that Pandora was a moon of, and it is pretty cool having it here in the game now. Though kind of an oddity for me, as you guys know my preference when it comes to planet packs, I tend to like those that add in whole new star systems. And this is definitely not that, as it just adds in Colophemus, as well as its three moons into our own Kerbal star system here, which I let slide considering the fact that by Jebediah, these things are beautiful. So let's jump right on into the tracking station and take a look at what we got, which shouldn't take too long considering the fact that, well, like I did say, it is just one gas giant and its three moons. So let's put our focus first on the big boy of the bunch, Colophemus, which is just a well, really big gas giant with a radius of 4,000 kilometers and a pretty beautiful pastel color palette. I do quite enjoy it. And of course, <laughs> I love ringed worlds. It's it's a weird thing with me. I love them to death. And you, you have a planet pack with ring worlds. I'm going to probably like it. So <laughs> it is quite cool to have it here, of course. And uh, yes, along with three beautiful moons, the first of which is Kalate or Kalatea. I'm not entirely sure how to pronounce it. In fact, I'm really not entirely sure how to pronounce any of the things in this mod. Well, except for the last moon. But uh, yes, Kalate or Kalatea or whatever in the crap it is, is a small asteroid that was caught in the ring and is just a mere 30 kilometers in radius and, well, would be quite a fun and interesting thing to try and land on considering it's very very awkward shape kind of reminds me of a tree trunk for some reason hmm interesting but he has a very very beautiful asteroid very low gravity of course no atmosphere because well tiny tiny asteroid now that is not the case though on our next moon which is M Moe? Moai? Uh, again, I don't know how to pronounce these things. And this is an Eve-like world, which has a very toxic atmosphere, but is kind of Kerbal-esque, at least in its size, gravity, and the fact that it has an atmosphere, though you wouldn't want to breathe it. Its radius is 400 kilometers right here, uh, very close to a single G and 0.95, so good on the gravity front. And you may notice it's kind of an interesting terrain if you can see through the toxic, toxic clouds. We have this very interesting stripes of land that in between is molten rock which, yeah, you probably don't want to land your ship in, and would make for quite an interesting planet to attempt to land on, considering the fact that, well, you better make it onto one of these strips, or else into the molten rock you go. Which, um, yes, is definitely definitely very interesting, and I do love the look of it, though, especially with the clouds on, which I should mention, this mod does come pre-bundled with a couple of the graphical enhancements, including custom clouds. Ooh, and actually, I just remembered something that I should point out back on Colophemus. One, of course, is the beautiful Aurora, Aurora Borealis-like magnetic effect we got up at the pole. Very, very cool. And also something that I'm not entirely sure if it's a glitch or a feature. I don't know how well you guys will be able to see it on the YouTube video, but on the dark side of the gas giant, we're getting all these little quick flashes of blue everywhere. I don't know if that's intentional to be some sort of a, I don't know, electrical storm on the planet, but I like it, and I hope it's intentional, because it, it's just kind of cool to have it. But it could very well just be a weird graphical glitch that I'm having, and it just intrigues me. One of the two. Does it happen on these, on Moe here? I don't see it. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not seeing any effect like that, so it could very well be intentional. I don't know. But of course, that leads us to the final of the moons, which I can pronounce Pandor, which basically is just an extra O and losing the A at the end to make it, you know, 
not infringing on Pandora. And it, of course, is a Kerbin-like world where its size is at uh, 540 kilometers, 0.8 Gs, but it does have a beautiful, breathable atmosphere, and as you can tell, a lot of beautiful ocean. We've got water all over the place, as well as some good continents, a load of islands. Now, this side that we're looking at right now is the major continents. The other side has a lot more islands, as you can see it kind of trailing off on this end. We got island, 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 giant ocean. And, uh, yeah, very, very cool planet, breathable atmosphere also has its own aurora borealis like thing going on up north and is just awesome and an oddity for my series again normally i tend to build some sort of uh, survey satellite to go and just look at these things in orbit up close because typically i like you guys to go and explore the planets it's, i'm just showing it off to you you go and do the science but there's a new custom thing on Pandora that I want to show you, and that is new Pandora-like giant trees. So that's why I have a lander on there today, and let's just go and fly that now that we have gone through the one gas giant and its three moons, and take a look at the just magnificently beautiful and tall trees that are everywhere. Now I will tell you right now that if you uh, have on the scatterer effect, which a Apparently my... Oh! The trees are not showing. That is interesting. I should mention... Actually, I was about to mention at this point that the trees are a work in progress. Oh, there they are in the distance. They should also be here, though. Intriguing. Well, that's new. I haven't had this happen before, but there's the trees way out in the distance. These things are gigantic. I mean, come on. They're that far in the distance, and they look like they'd be the normal size here, which hmm, is odd that they're not showing in this area for some reason, but we'll roll with it for right now. We'll roll with it for right now because, well, it helps me actually with the point that they are a work in progress. They don't seem to always appear where they should. Uh, as I said, there should be trees here. I did test this earlier. And you can also see that even in the distance, the terrain is visible through the trees. So there is the line of the terrain, which you can clearly see even though there are trees in the way, which is kind of weird. I think it has something to do with the fact that these are just gigantic trees. Seriously. Our little lander here is dwarfed by these things. If they were showing correctly, let, we'll, uh, we'll actually leave the planet real quick here in a moment and then come back to try and get them to show right. But before we do, I should, of course, show off the other thing I love about why this I have a lander here. And um, that's the beautiful view. That is, uh, that is of course, Colophemus over there. And it's it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. And remember, there's two other moons, and if you get the alignment just right, you can see all of them during the day. Just kind of, you know, going in their orbital paths, and it's it's beautiful. Just imagine building a beautiful little colony along this uh, harbor area in here, or this lake, and having that as your view. Just a big old gas giant with a ring and the occasional view of the other two moons in the distance. It is simply gorgeous. And that is why I am perfectly okay with this not being a custom star system, is that beautiful, beautiful view. Now let's actually head back to the tracking station and let's come back to this. Hopefully the trees will return. It's kind of weird that they weren't showing there. Let's come back and load it again. Hopefully the trees will be in their proper place this time. Because, uh, yeah, I do I do want to show you just the giant nature of these things. They are huge. Very, very... Oh, they're not showing again. Well, that is unusual. I tested this earlier. <laughs> I was in a forest of trees. A very big forest of trees. Oh, boy. Well, you know what? At least we have the beautiful view in the background there. Let's just kind of angle it so at least we get some trees in the background it's a beautiful, beautiful pack, but the trees are finicky. Uh, like I said, I had landed here previously. There were trees, but I came back. There weren't trees. Came back again. There were trees. Started the video. There were trees gone again. I don't know 
what's going on with that, but hopefully those get fixed at some point because they are gorgeous. I mean, I'll just zoom out over here because, I mean, these things are just big. My, If I actually had the lander here, it would be roughly the size of my cursor at the base of that tree. That, just to give you an idea, because that's roughly the size of what they, it was when I had this same sort of angle uh, earlier with the lander when testing. The lander would be the size of my cursor, and that is the tree. They are just simply gigantic, and it's beautiful, and they cover the entire planet. Though apparently we just have a small, small little bunch of them here. That is so very strange. It actually looks like only a couple of areas are loading. You can see, in fact, they are even square in nature. So it's just a couple of chunks that have come into existence. Interesting. Interesting indeed. But yeah, so that is the Call of Femus system mod. It is beautiful. I love each of these planets. Each one are, well one planet and three moons each are just simply gorgeous in their own right and then with the addition of the giant trees the cool oceans and atmosphere it just adds so much more to the whole thing and it makes it for a very very interesting place to go and visit and uh, i would definitely say to go and check out this mod if you would like to of course the link is in the description as always and uh yeah that's really gonna be it for this video we went a little bit longer than i'd like because of the tree incident but oh well <laughs> what are you gonna do go check out this mod enjoy this beautiful scenery and of course i do hope you have enjoyed this video today and that you do come back for the next when we'll be looking at yet another wonderful mod. But until that time, thank you for watching and as always, have a good one.